right now, Florida lawmakers are moving forward with a bill that would change how quickly people can obtain gun licenses. The bill would allow them to get approval for a firearm before the criminal background check is complete. Now tonight we are hearing from both sides of this proposal. Our Shelby Danison joins us live now with what we are learning about this pretty controversial bill. Shelby? Well, in this hefty report, it was put together by the Department of Agriculture and it's supported by elected Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam. He's also now a candidate for governor here in Florida. He's long supported gun rights and right now most lawmakers are also supporting this. But those in opposition call this irresponsible, starting with the fact that you don't get to the provision about the concealed carry license until page 102. <laughs> In a 114 page bill focused on topics such as livestock, oyster harvesting and citrus production, you'll find lines pertaining to Florida concealed carry licenses. It certainly looks like someone has tried to hide something. Patty Brigham is the vice president of the League of Women Voters of Florida and the co-chair of the Florida Coalition to Prevent Gun Violence. Why take the risk that a person could be carrying around a concealed weapon who has a criminal history. She is actively trying to fight House Bill 553 from becoming a reality. If passed, the state would have to issue a concealed carry license 90 days after an application, regardless of a background check being completed. If compromising information is later found, it would be suspended. He could go and do what he's going to do the next day. Or the same day that he gets the weapon. Mad Dad's president, Donald Foy, says that suspension could be too little too late. So I just don't think it's a good idea. He says he supports the Second Amendment, but this is not what it's intended for. Florida requests California to provide certain information to them, and the state of California just refuses to respond at all. General counsel for pro-gun group Florida Carry, attorney Eric Friday, says other states dragging their feet on sharing background information with Florida shouldn't be our problem. Whose fault is it? though if that person uses their gun for violence. It's California's fault for not reporting and not transferring the information. I mean, the criminal's responsible for their actions, and I, I will say that the state of California will have blood on its hands if that happens. Friday says people are being denied licenses because of age-old convictions. The state doesn't know whether they were convicted of a felony or not because the records are unclear. But Brigham believes it's a slippery slope. If we can save just one human life, because someone has to wait a few more days to get their permit, that's what should happen. We should wait. Friday believes that people who carry licenses are actually more protection for you than actually calling the police. He says they take too long. Those in opposition disagree. This is something we'll continue to follow. Live downtown, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.